Flight directors go for launch. All right, we're now T minus 20 seconds until liftoff of Starship Flight 6. This will mark our second attempt to catch the super heavy booster at the launch tower, as well as. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Booster Raptor, chamber pressure nominal. Booster and ship, avionics, power and telemetry nominal. We're just a little over a minute into the flight. Dynamic pressure. We're about six miles away, so all the sound's still hitting us here. Hearing good call outs, that power telemetry nominal that's flying straight and true. We do see all 33 Raptor engines lit up on telemetry screens. At this point, we've passed through that point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, that max Q. Now, coming up in just a little over a minute from now is gonna be hot staging. So we're gonna see the six engines on the ship ignite while still attached to the booster. Just before that, we'll see all but three center engines on the booster shut down. And what we call Miko, it's most engines cut off instead of main engine. And so while we continue to watch it go up, a lot of our flight controllers looking at all the systems around the tower. Again, we have to send a manual command. Just about 30 seconds away from hot staging. And we heard, we heard the tower is go for catch. Please range cut off. The return flag is set for true. Ship engine start up. Stage separation. All right, hot staging confirmed. Six out of six cover. lit on the ship. Booster boost back going. We heard that we are go for catch. Kate, Jesse, take out the views. Hopefully I got a booster. Coming home real soon. Wow, from our view here, Dan, uh, great views of planet Earth behind that super heavy booster. Right now it is performing the Ship boost back burn. Phenomenal. Good news there, telling us that the, uh, the pressures inside the ship are good. That is the second stage or the upper portion of the vehicle. Follow along with the telemetry on the bottom of your screen. Yeah, booster is currently, super heavy is currently in its boost back burn, this boost back burn. power telemetry nominal. This boost back burn lasts just a little bit over a minute, so we've got a little, uh, approximately 30 seconds left. We've had shutdown of that boost back burn. Up next will be hot stage jettison. The view from the camera on the left, or from the booster on the left hand side of your screen, and then tracking cam there on the right hand side of your screen. We'll see those grid fins. Booster offshore divert. And we can also see that the uh, hot stage has been jettisoned. Yes, visual confirmation of that there on your screen, which is great. Now the next- Starship is following a nominal trajectory. The next step for booster is going into that landing burn. Again, it'll light up 13 of those engines and then uh, 
pared down to three engines right before booster catch. All right, now just real quick, we did hear the call out, uh, boost back, or excuse me, booster offshore divert. Unfortunately, that means that we are no go for the catch. Um, as we said before, both the tower and the vehicle, as well as the operators on console have been actively evaluating the commit criteria for that return to the launch tower. Um, and unfortunately, we did not have a pass on those commit criteria. So we are no-go for tower catch. And we did mention that we're constantly evaluating the criteria for catch. There's a lot of things that need to go well in order to line that up. Unfortunately, today yep. we will forego booster catch today. But what you're seeing on your screen is ship uh, currently making its way towards the Indian Ocean, still looking good so far. Exactly. Well, you have witnessed the successful launch of Starship, the giant rocket from Elon Musk's SpaceX. Donald Trump, as you have seen, president-elect, has been watching on. This is the sixth test. But if you were hoping to see the famous chopsticks moment, the enormous mechanical arms which clutched the giant rocket booster back in its grasp on launch five, you will be disappointed. Let's bring in our science and technology editor, Tom Clark. Everybody obviously hoping to watch that catch moment, uh, but it seems that the tower uh, and the rocket called Super Heavy are not aligned. Tom. Yeah, that's right. So there's a there's a critical phase. What they call it is a go no go in in, in space language. Uh, they have to call is the the booster following that burn to separate it from the spacecraft that it's lifted into orbit, which is now continuing its way. Is it in the right position? Is it pointing the right way? Is all of the the uh, the coordination looking right for a successful landing back at the tower? And it appears it wasn't. So they call very early on, we're not going to do it. It is now being, head, it's being sent on a different trajectory for it to splash down over the ocean, something which is going to be happening quite soon, I believe. Let me just check the altitude. Um, yeah. Yeah, it'll be happening momentarily. Here it goes for its final burn. view of splashdown that we got today of oh, super like heavy that? yeah i'm sure the buoy cam views will be <laughs> pretty awesome once again so we'd like to confirm a water landing once again for the super heavy booster congrats to the spacex team uh, for making that milestone as well